So a big question people have before the release of One Punch Man World is who to reroll. Like people genuinely have no idea because not everyone played the beta. But I've played the beta and I've been in the Discord and I've spoken to a couple of um, people who've played the, the beta and I've taken their feedback in compiling the list of the best reroll targets. Let's get it. Welcome to the pinnacle of gotcha gaming on YouTube. All right, so like I said earlier, this list is completely based off of the beta specifically because the devs have come out and said that the SSR characters or not, not just the SSR characters, but all the characters in the game are going to get tuned. Some characters are going to be changed. Some characters are going to be balanced. Some characters that were bad in the beta are going to get buffed to make them usable now. So this is completely based off of the beta. Um, just wanted to reiterate that. So the first character that we will, that, that you should reroll for is Genos. Now, SSR Genos, what does he do? What is info? So he's a high damage output unit. Um, he's very useful for ranged attacks and he has a self-destruct ultimate for high burst damage and he's very very good in solo and team play so this is going to be very useful if you're a character a, a type of player that likes to attack from a distance um since he's very rangy um he saw his pros and cons or just pros really is he, he has a balanced offense and utility the ranged attacks like i said earlier and the burst damage and in the beta lots of people had like sung him praises like he was he was probably one of the best units in that beta um honestly um so i definitely recommend rerolling for him or having him on your list so next is saitama now right now the in the beta sorry in the beta the only saitama that you could use was the dream was the um i think it's called opai saitama i think that's what it's i think that's what it's called um the or the dreamwalker saitama or something like that but the saitama where he's wearing his um his um pajamas yeah that's it um so what this saitama does is oh sorry his info sorry is that he he has high strength and one-shot potential, so he does have um, a, an ability where he is able to one-shot one-shot enemies, um, and it is a limited use. Uh, so he is a limited use unit due to his instant wing condition. So he is one of the better units, dealing a lot of damage and having that wing con. However, the wing, the instant win is very hard to pull off. You know. That's all I will say about that. But he is overall a really good um, melee unit. Does does do does does some good damage. So I would recommend him. And finally, we have probably the best. Yeah, probably the best unit in that beta, in my opinion. From I've used him, and I've seen other people use him, and everyone had the same opinion of Speedo Samsonic um being the best unit in the beta now there is two versions of speedo sound sonic there's the version of him in his in prison in prison in his in prison clothes where he doesn't have a sword or anything in prison clothes and there is a version of him where he has his regular costume purple costume with his sword now that's the version i'm talking about as you guys are probably seeing the visuals in the background but that's the version i'm talking about and now this sonic is a speed god literally it's in his name he has high damage output high speed high mobility excellent for solo play and clearing stages very fast and like i just love his play style you're able to deal damage dodge he's he's, he's really good at dodging attacking and dodging and he has insanely high attack speed probably the fastest attack speed in the game he's really really nice 
so his play style is a very hit and run high speed attack dodging and countering play style and that's that's personally that's my type of play style a hit and run high speed attack dodging play style um so yeah that's pretty much uh the best reroll targets for one punch man world so please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below uh do you agree do you disagree with my list bear in mind this is off of the beta and i have asked a lot of a lot of players um who they thought was were, were the were the better units in the beta uh but if you disagree let me know in the comments and we'll debate it up um do bear in mind this is the beta the global launch like i said may have different skills different kits different play styles for these units the devs did say that they, they could potentially change some units to bear that in mind uh so yeah don't forget to like subscribe take care and stay shiny This is Eskinor, the Lion Sin of Pride from Seven Deadly Sins. Thank you for watching The Pinnacle of Gotcha Gaming on YouTube. The One.